हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर चंद्रशेखर कंसल्टेंट न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट इट केयर हॉस्पिटल्स मुशीराबाद टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ब्रीफली अबाउट द ब्रेन स्ट्रोक ब्रेन स्ट्रोक अकर्स व्हेन अ ब्लड सप्लाई टू सर्टेन पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन इज इंटरप्टेड और स्टॉप्ड व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ द ब्रेन स्ट्रोक देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रेन स्ट्रोक वन इज इस्कीमिक स्ट्रोक एंड सेकंड वन इज हेमरेजिक स्ट्रोक इस्कीमिक स्ट्रोक अकर्स व्हेन अ सर्टेन पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन इज कॉम्प्रोमाइज्ड बाय द blood supply due to the blockage of the blood blood vessel this blockage of blood vessels occurs either the clot formation inside the blood vessel or the clot may be traveled from the elsewhere in the body such types of strokes are known as the ischemic strokes when the blood supply compromised because of the blood clot itself inside the blood vessel that is because of the atherosclerosis that is in the carotid vessels second stroke is the embolic stroke this occurs when the blood clots travel from the failure heart that is congestive cardiac failure patients or atrial fibrillation patients the blood stagnates there and forms a clot it will travel to the brain and struck in the small blood vessels of the brain it will cause the ischemic stroke then coming to the second type of the brain stroke is the hemorrhagic stroke hemorrhagic stroke occurs when the blood leaks from the blood vessel or blood vessel ruptures the hemorrhagic stroke happens what are the causes of hemorrhagic stroke the causes of hemorrhagic stroke are trauma or abnormal blood vessels or excessive use of the blood thinners like antiplatelets and anticoagulants when the hemorrhage occurs the area of the hemorrhage of the brain will be lack of the blood supply and also because of the blood vessels going into the spasm this may compromise the nutrients and blood to the normal brain tissue and the brain damage will occurs what are the symptoms of the brain stroke the, the symptoms of the brain stroke are paralysis of the one side of the body that is hand weakness and leg weakness difficulty in lifting the hand and difficulty in walking sometimes uh, difficulty in speech or understanding the speech may occurs and the hemorrhagic stroke symptoms may be severe headache vomiting drowsiness seizures will happens coming to the diagnosis of the stroke stroke can be diagnosed clinically as well as ct imaging and mri imaging how to treat the stroke patients before treating the stroke patients we have to evaluate either it is hemorrhagic stroke or ischemic stroke because the medication used for the hemorrhagic ischemic stroke may damage the symptoms of the hemorrhagic stroke that's why initially we have to differentiate ischemic stroke and hemorrhagic stroke by ct scan or mri once the ischemic stroke is diagnosed it is it is treated with the antiplatelets anticoagulants and thrombolytic agents like tissue plasminogen activator or in advanced stages with mechanical thrombectomy how to treat the hemorrhagic stroke hemorrhagic stroke will be treated by the medications like manitol antiepileptics and in severe cases craniotomy surgery can be done how to prevent the brain stroke the brain stroke can be prevented by the controlling the blood pressure controlling the diabetes hyperlipidemia control stoppage of the alcohol and smoking thank you